Welcome, boys, to the second ever mini podcast. You guys seem to respond very well to the first one we did, so we thought we'd do another one, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it just as much. And for those of you that don't know, the mini podcast is going to be where we sit here for about 30 minutes or so, and we specifically talk about one subject. Today's subject is going to be about third-party clients, and I am joined by these two beautiful people, and we don't have Mint Mad Cal because he's letting the side down, boys. It's okay. We we said it would be optional, so <laughs> yeah. No, it's but fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. This is just this is just an extra podcast, and yeah. we we'll go with the mini podcast because it was the first one I saw, and I thought, fuck it, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you know me, Rice Cup, but we have our boy Verf here. You know the Kramja legend and Hello. Ultimate Iron Man PhD. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna just read uh this post here. It's a really big issue, so we might as well go through everything uh in the week before runefest we published a message about unofficial clients in that statement we outlined some of the features that we consider to be unacceptable and anticipated that moving forwards we were going to be more proactive to the issue while exploring exciting options for our own client it has since become apparent that we didn't provide enough clarity the list of unacceptable features which was too ambiguous confusing players and client developers we would like to reiterate why we're doing this, outlining and enforcing these rules is vital to protect the integrity of the game, as well as its economy and long-term health. This isn't about us unfairly punishing players by making the game more difficult. Nice. So what do you guys think about uh, that, that, that response here? Um, well, it's good that they're finally like addressing it. And I, I haven't seen this post or like I've seen it, I've not read it. And I know there's a lot of detail on there. Yeah. So it's good to see, you know, they've, dedicated an entire post to talk about that but we'll get into it and see what it says yeah all right so some of you guys are probably wondering like what is this really all about so this post is in response to the crazy amount of like really low-key clients like modified clients that that's been going around and, and becoming more public as of late so you know we had stuff like I guess at this point, you know, there's no point in hiding stuff. We, we were talking, right, in a previous podcast to one of the RuneLight Plus developers, which is its own separate group of people creating, like, their own modified clients. And they had some insane features. Like, a lot of them were pretty much just telling you how to boss and stuff like that. And, they, yeah, yeah, they were just making it, and they were just letting people use it for free. And at some point, you know, it just started getting a lot of traction. Whereas it wasn't, I guess, much of an issue before because like all those like really shady clients, you know, people just didn't really talk about it because they were afraid, you know, of getting banned and, and stuff. So they would use it very sparingly and privately. But, you know, it got to a point where just everybody kind of started questioning like, hey, can I use this? Can I use this client? You know, instead of like the usual rule, like, oh, you know, oh, it's buddy. Everyone was like starting to get really tempted with using, you know, these other smaller but way more powerful like like borderline cheating features yeah. on other clients it, it got really out of hand yeah so it, it, it basically got to a point where you know the past few months it got really out of hand and people were just talking all, all about it you know and, and jagex obviously has has to step in because it, you know before it gets to a point where it just becomes borderline acceptable by the community and then jagex you know like they had to step in sooner or later. I mean, I feel like they should have stepped in earlier. I think I think yeah. people started posting on Twitter and sh and uh, tagging a bunch of mods to show it. That, that got a lot of attention, I think, on Twitter. Yeah, 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 dude. Like literally, when when some of the clients were making like prediction features for Inferno, dude, and then you know it started it yeah. started making the scene in Twitter, dude. Like that was it. <laughs> that was pretty it, much it. It snowballed out of control, didn't it? Really, because it started yeah. with like it started with some really useful things. You know, you had like bank value. I rate that. I know it's so simple, but it's just it's not always accurate. But it's nice to know roughly. Yeah, those those are fine. Those are still fine to this day. It's just like yeah. I mean, those were fine. You're talking like boss timers. Yeah, yeah like I'm talking about those features. Markers. They're useful, but then eventually it got our hand. To the yeah, point yeah, because then they started doing tile markers that can like adjust and itself and predict you. and predict yeah. where to go next like they they just went above and beyond and like it i would say yeah. that that in my mind is it's well it is a bot like if there's markers that are if there's a client which is setting the markers out where to stand for zora for example and it just moves it a, and adjusts like you yeah know, on the it, fly, it's effectively like, a bot but instead of it having full control it's just guiding you on what to do 
So it definitely yeah. did get out of hand for sure. Yeah, no, that, that's like only the, the, one little thing. That was only one little thing. The, the one that the one that stands out for me was the one at triple jets, like showing you what to pray. That, that yeah. was like great. That's crazy. Yeah, it like... was it was the six jets, <laughs> and it was like a tar hero style, whatever prayers oh, dropped down, great. he had to press at the right time. <laughs> yeah, no, it was that, yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah, you know I mean, we could we could go all day about how how mm, wild yeah. some of those yeah. features were, but either way. I mean, I guess you could say common sense would tell you that, you know, a lot of those were cheating. But honestly, people people didn't really know anymore because it got to a point where their friends were using it. And then their friends were telling, you know, telling them to check it out. And then everyone's kind of like, oh, man, these features are so nice. <laughs> but like, you know, like if it, it fucks with your common sense because you're just thinking like, hey, you know, people aren't getting banned for it. So I guess I can use it. Right? It's like, it's stuff like that. Right. But now yeah. they're enforcing it. They're giving you the rules. Well, as as clear as they can. All right, I'm not I'm not gonna say that this is the most clear thing ever, but I will tell you this is pretty damn concrete. Like it's like, you know, it's almost as good as it gets. Okay, there's a few you know ambiguity still, but for the most part, most of it's already kind of addressed. So th th so these are the rules that they're they're uh, breaking down. Yeah, and this is this is good that they've clarified this stuff. I do think you're right. They probably should have said this early on when clients started coming out. But they obviously, it's very easy for us to say that, but they yeah. didn't see like what was gonna come of all of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So this is, I guess, based on insight from the past few years of you know third-party client history and you know what we've deemed to be bad and what we've deemed to be not good. So yeah, I mean, I've I've seen one right there, which is uh, attack prediction timing or attack style. I remember seeing clips, maybe in videos, of somebody killing demonic gorillas, and it would tell them exactly what like their next attack style was. Yeah, gonna be. yeah, the demonic gorilla counter. Yeah, yeah that was. It's like if you kill demonic gorillas and you do it without any help like that from a third party client, you're soon get into the rhythm of like when it's gonna change its attack style, and it's pretty much a coin flip on whether you guess the right prayer, right? But like that doesn't seem like it's too unfair to do it like that. But knowing exactly what it's about to cast. Like you could effectively just go there with like a form yeah, and you just don't or stores count. or you know you just don't it, need it to count got, yourself. It got way, 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 way too much for sure. Yeah, so I mean, okay, I'll just read what they were saying first. To try and clear up any confusion, here's a more detailed rundown of our intentions. Any features which a any boss fights by doing any of the following are prohibited. This includes raids, sub bosses, server bosses, demi bosses, wave based minigames, like Fight Cave Inferno. So these are more specifically PVM related. Next, attack predictions, timing or attack style, projectile targets or target locations as well as impact locations. Kind of, you know, it sounds kind of vague though, you know, projectile <laughs> targets, target locations, as well as impact locations. So I'm guessing they're just talking about like prediction markers or like prediction overlays that just kind of tells you where to go. The, yeah, stuff indicator. we just talked about, yeah, like the Zora ones and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Zora ones. Yeah. Prayer switching yeah. indicators. That one's really simple. Like it'll probably just yep. pop up which prayer for you to use next. Attack counters. I think those are the most. The, I've seen some clients where like, uh, for a boss, right? Like there, there's some bosses that like switch attack styles after a certain amount. I think they have like a number. Mm -hmm. They would have a number pop up on the boss, and then it would just like count up. To a certain number of countdown to a certain number and then once you reach mm -hmm. that number that's when you like know it's going to change attack or something like that they had something like that and yeah if, i saw yeah. it in in uh, uh tob the yeah. dark beast boss you were able to see like every uh different attack it, it's like basically that yeah the range of mage separately and stuff oh yeah yeah it'll show you the you numbers until it, reach yeah. you. until it reaches you right something like that yeah yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah <laughs> I feel like that the next one's quite interesting. Anything that indicates where to stand yeah. or not to so stand. So this is so, where it's fake. Though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That, yeah. That... I mean, it says anything, anything. So basically, tall markers are now bannable. Basically. Well, well, it's not. Well, that's the thing. It's not regular like, tall yeah, markers yeah. aren't bannable. Because like what? So, Sorry. The yeah, yeah, I was gonna. I was just gonna say like the biggest confusion about this part was the tile markers, and I saw a lot of people ask questions about it, but. Basically, uh, if you place a tile marker yourself, it's fine. That's basically what it comes down to. Well, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. very that's mm. stupid because yeah, it is yeah, super they, they needed to clarify. Anything. Yeah, they needed yeah. to clarify this one a bit more. 
Because anything that indicates where to stand, to me, that's e.g. a tile marker. Because it doesn't get much yeah. more clearer than that. What they yeah. were trying to say most likely is markers that would automatically move itself to like a certain place. Like like if you were, because I know there was ones with like Zora where we like the markers would move to the place that you should move to, and then it'll it, you know it'll tell you where to right. go. Yeah. But yeah, the ones where you specifically just place down on the ground and it's static. Those those don't matter. Like the ones uh, that you has that being confirmed by like a J mod somewhere. Um, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yes. Like, I don't so have the link. We're though, not we're not a hundred percent sure. Well, so I, that it, that to me is like quite a big. You know, that's a bit iffy there because I use tile markers for. No, I, I'm example. I'm like ninety nine percent sure in that that it is because like I'm pretty sure a J mod stated. It's just the problem is is that they asked. No, all the people asked Jamos. It's just I don't have the a link. bunch of people. Yeah, a bunch of people on yeah. Twitter asked the bot. Yeah, that was like a big big frequently asked question just just regular tile markers the one that you physically place i mean as far as i'm aware nobody has gone banned for using it which makes sense because like that doesn't you know what i mean it, it's your uh you know what i mean your knowledge that you put that there not not that the game is predicting it for you so you can move there yeah and no, it's exactly static right. it doesn't it doesn't move it's where you put it yourself right so yeah Removal or swapping of menu entries on any entity. Okay, that was also uh, that one's probably yeah. the most c confusing one of all, to be honest. Like, Viv, you had a, you had a lot on that one, right? Yeah. Just, so sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So the uh, entry swapper. There's like there's first of all there's like a bunch of stuff in there, and they well they basically say not um, entry swap is completely like you can't use it, um, but Runelight removed a, a few like options after this post but entry swap is still there and that's yeah, what and like that's... it's really confusing because i feel like people that are going to download runelight right now they see that option and they will use it yeah right yeah that's like my biggest concern honestly like out of all these the entry swapper one yeah i think that right. one is just not very clear dude so to clarify to myself and people listening, would an entry swapper be something, for example, like being able to swap eagle eye and augury? Uh, sorry, eagle eye and yeah, Rigor that's around. banned. That's that's not allowed. But but is yeah, that, that what this is? No, is no, that no. That is? What this no. is? Oh. What this is is, let's say you you know there's an NPC or uh, object that has multiple menus in a specific order. You cannot switch them around. Is what they're saying. Ah, so like uh, the, the bones. Yeah, like so left click, pickpocket, etc. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the bones yeah, yeah. and stuff. So yeah, like a, a shop, like a general store shop, you can one click trade. Like normally you have to right click and then you click trade, but then you can left click yeah. on the NPC. That that's one of the like options. But then there's also manual uh, shift click. You can basically uh, shift click anything, and that's still in Runelight, and that yeah. removes yeah. a lot of clicks. So that, that's. Dude, I literally, like, I've been using OS Buddy, like, since it came out, right? And I know that everybody uses Runelight. Everyone's like, why do you use OS Buddy, etc. For me, it was just a case of every time I went onto Runelight, loads of things on the screen, had to, like, go through the options, turn them all off, etc. And I just couldn't be bothered to do it, right? I knew it was going to take five minutes, but OS Buddy was just ready to go. So I just used OS Buddy. The only times that I use Runelight is Demonic Gorillas, because the OS Buddy client sucks so hard. You can't actually go into there without getting the worst frame drops yeah. ever, right? Yeah, the that... water, I'm not even kidding. The water fountains, right? And uh, when the demonic gorilla attacks you uh, with range, there are probably about, I'm guessing, maybe 50 pixels of rock that crumble on you. That shit lags the client out. And, like, it's impossible to kill them. So I've had to swap to room light. And then recently... There are loads of things in OS Buddy that I don't even know how to turn off. So, like I was saying earlier about Eagle Eye and uh, Rigor being swapped around, mine on that client are swapped. So, Rigor is an Eagle Eye swap. I don't know how to turn it off. So, I'm just like, well, I'm not using this anymore. And I've had <laughs> to go over to Roomlight. Like, I've had to make the switch because I don't want to get banned. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. The, 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 the prayer switching was one they. Uh... Yeah, I think they, it's down they didn't there. That one. I think yeah. it's more down there. Yeah. But like, uh, so with with regards to Runelight though, uh, I was told that the J mods were talking with the Runelight developers to tell them pretty much like which ones they should remove and which ones they shouldn't. So, uh, but I'm really confused as to why they didn't say menu entry option should is, isn't removed because that's 100 should be because 
it goes against the rules because like why do you ban people for using hk uh, although yeah hk probably does some cra crazier shit like you can do like one click for 20 actions or something but still you're still skipping actions with the menu oh, entry swapper and it, it, like if it's prayer for example you are skipping so many clicks in in a matter of a minute with that thing i would say that that is definitely it goes against what they're saying on this post yeah so even jagex yeah you know i mean even jags themselves is still having a little bit of a you know of a confusion you know in their in in their in their uh freaking like decision making because you can't say removal or, or swapping menu entries on entity as illegal when you actually allow rune light to even have it still you know because like you yeah. they got rid of the demonic gorilla plugin right yeah because yeah, it goes did. against the rules but they don't they didn't get rid of the menu exactly yes. it's, and it's, it's it, like it's weird it, it, it's one of those things right so like do you know with Cox Raids, Raids 1, uh, what's the place called? You, you know where you get, you yeah, you get the vials of water, or sorry, mm, just the empty yeah. vials. What's the tree called? The Gore Tree or something? Right click. The, yeah, the Gorge Tree, right? So to begin with, that was like you had to right click it, you pick one, right? Or right something click, like that. Pick you, all. You, yeah. Yeah, but like, no, when Raids first came out, it yeah, was. Yeah, it was just called, one. It was, just it one, was at one at a time. It was one at a time, and yeah. the community came together and said, hey, like, this is stupid. We need to fix this. It's not an integrity thing. It just doesn't make sense for it to be like that. So that's an understandable interface <laughs> changed, right? But like when it comes to something such as right clicking and having a pickpocket, like going to Jagex and being like, hey, do you mind swapping the pickpocket so it's at the top instead of it being in the middle? It's like, well, there are thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people that have got like 99 thieving by right clicking. So it's a, it's a huge unfair advantage makes absolutely no sense for that to be the first option. So there are cases when obviously having a menu menu swap to be like a legitimate thing that needs to happen, but that's not for us to say, and that's not for a client to decide either, is it? Like that's solely mm -hmm. down to obviously Jagex and realizing mm -hmm. if it's just something in general which should change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not I'm not sure. Man, honestly, they need, <laughs> a, they need to sort that one out because... Everything else is very clear to me with what they say, other than those last two, because they just and left, I, yeah. Left them. And I think most of the like the the box like down below, I think most of these things are mostly regarding the like super OP clients that uh, yeah, like the, yeah. the all the timers and the the TOB timers and all that stuff. Yeah, that wasn't in Runelight as far as I know. I mean, the thing is, I just in a way, I kind of doubt. And I, I hope this isn't the case, and I want to be proven wrong, but I kind of doubt that they'll be able to track all of this stuff. Considering that there are, like, tons of bots that still exist, and some bots have been going doing specific bots for such a long time. Like, how are they going to de detect somebody that's doing something such as just, like, left-clicking a bone to use on an ore, for example? Uh, like, I don't, well... I don't really have that higher confidence in them being able to track that. So, so you know, I think that's what a lot of people you know talk about is like do, can they even detect if people are cheating well i mean i can't say because they're never going to tell you what they can and can't right because if they can if they do tell you then it would make it so easy for people to not get caught anymore right yeah. so so i i mean i can't say it's like i can't even say that they can or and i can't even say that they can't because it's a trade secret they, they will never be able to tell you. But I'm saying this is the rules, guys. You know, play by the... I mean, play fairly, right? Yeah. What is the point in cheating? Like, I, I, I you guess know what I'm the best way to look at this is yeah. like, if you want to do this stuff, which is being like crystal clear, put right here in this post, and you want to abuse it and basically break and cheat the game rules, and you get banned for it, don't be complaining because your friend's been doing it for a year and he's never been banned. So at the end of the day, you take the risk. You know, yeah, you've yeah, got to nah, be, don't, don't you do the time. Man, dude. Sorry, if you do the crime, you got to be willing to do the time, right? It's just one of those. Yeah, yeah. But this is obviously, <laughs> I mean, as a content creator, none of us are ever going to get away yeah. with breaking any of these rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. So mess with that personally. It, it's funny you, you mention that because um, I haven't like I haven't seen anyone get banned for uh for using like for example entry swapper that's yeah. still a lot of people that's using what entry i'm saying swapper, right? uh, that's why i'm saying those two are right kind of an exception even though it's in the rules and and but, that really that really makes it like it's just kind of devalues it a bit because 
I can't really blame people for using it because Jagex actually went over there and told told you know Runelite to get rid of stuff, but they didn't tell him to get rid of menu reentry. Right? But so like weird. as a as a content creator, if you're streaming and you're using one of these options, you're probably gonna get banned. Yeah, I, because I don't think any streamers are using it. Like I've been watching a lot of different people and talked about the the, the topic, and like no one is using it anymore, right? Like, what do you guys think about the about that like comparison, like streamer, uh, like content creators versus basically everyone else? Uh, um, let me go ahead. I think, to be completely honest, and I think the majority of people watching this will agree, or at least I'd hope so, is that we shouldn't be treated as content creators any differently from any other player in the game. Yeah, at the end no, of the day, just if we evidence. if we get three hundred. 500,000 views a video and we're fucking advertising the game out of our asses but we're breaking the rules we should still be held accountable like yeah, the same uh, as everyone sure. else I, I don't feel like there should be any privilege uh i think that it basically forces us as content creators to be more up to date with the rules in the game for example and i think that's a good thing in all honesty because then in your videos and in your live streams you're not going to be breaking rules and people are never really going to question oh, how are you left clicking the banker and just instantly going in? It just won't even be a thing, will it, you know? Yeah, you give a good example to, pe to people that watch you. Yeah, I mean, I just personally don't like using menu entry. Oh. Like, I've used it I've used it once, and honestly, I, I just didn't. It, it just felt like, <laughs> you know, it was just... Oh, yeah, I just didn't I, feel right. I, <laughs> yeah. It just didn't feel Dude, right, so I didn't do I, it. With the menu swapping, like, this has only been posted what like a week ago or so yeah. i mean i've been left clicking to get into the bank now for the last couple years ever since those buddy came out like it's actually been a learning curve for me i'm still occasionally going to the bank and left click and i'm like oh why i'm not in my bank oh yeah i got a right click like <laughs> i'm learning the game again and yeah way. i mean it's honestly like, i just so click easy. the window dude i just click the window usually and, yeah. and it's a left click <laughs> you just can't can't what, do what? the npc left click guys what's a bank <laughs> <laughs> it's this thing that uh you know 99 percent of the players use 99.9 percent .9 of the players use <laughs> right anyways I, we we got a lot of stuff to get through here so yeah I you want to read the next two segments yeah so in addition the following menu changes are prohibited any menu modifications on worn slash equipped items so what the hell does that mean? I think the <laughs> ones that like, you know, really had the thing where like you could highlight items with a certain color. I think those yeah. are not allowed. Any menu modifications on worn equipment items? Oh, okay, that's fair enough. I think I've seen a couple clients which could change like, say, uh, I don't know, just a, a bronze dagger into like a DDF. Like yeah, that was yeah, something yeah. that a client at some point had. I imagine that's what I was trying to hit on. Um, any yeah. addition of new menu entries which calls action to be sent over to the server. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. So like, I think means, I think that's more targeted towards OS Buddy because <clears throat> what what like really you know hit the nail on the coffin and got Jagex to like start you know taking action was OS Buddy decided to release all those skilling <laughs> skilling features where like you can literally do you can literally click on one thing and it'll do like twenty different actions at once and really? it's not hk that was literally built in into their, their client yeah there was this yeah. one where like they literally had uh you could like click on the bone right on the altar instead of the bone you just click on the altar and yeah, your character yeah. would just automatically use the bone on the altar just spam click the altar and yeah you literally just wow. spam click the altar yeah why why haven't i been using this man <laughs> Have Shit, you not? Have you? <laughs> have you not seen all the stuff on Twitter? Yeah, that's what. I, I, that's what. I, I that's, have, yeah. but I didn't know it was on Earth's buddy. I've been yeah, no, because oh, Earth's yeah, buddy, yeah. dude, Earth's buddy was just making a statement. He was like, you know what? Screw you guys, bro. Y'all, <laughs> y'all making all these overpowered shits. I'm gonna end your careers. Like, like, like <laughs> let's do this shit. Like that was like, they did, bro. Yeah. Like as soon as they did, dude, Jack is like, okay, statement about third party clients. Like right, yep. out, right out of nowhere, dude. I was like, damn, dude. I was like, damn. I they were, like, kind of pushing it. They were, they were, they were. They were, like, egging. Like, like yeah. yo, they, they were, like, going back us. and forth, adding stuff. It was getting, like, super out of hand. And Jack was like, okay, this is enough. Like, Yeah, yeah, no. They were, they were like, holy shit. Even, like, one of the most popular <laughs> third-party clients that we've relied on for years. They're, yeah. they're like, sending a message. I was like, they, you know, they couldn't do anything. They had to do... They had to stop. Yeah, I mean, they had to try to stop them at that mm -hmm. point. 
I think basically anybody, like, even if you don't play the game and really know what we're talking about, and you're listening in on this conversation, like, the very easy fix and solution here is just for Jagex. We've been saying this for ages, Jagex to just do their own client. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because then there would be no even thought or, like, hesitation of doubt if there was something you were doing which was bannable. Yeah. It just won't be, you know? Um, I, I wish that they would just take the time. Yeah. And maybe maybe yeah. even, like, hire the guys from OS Buddy and Maroon Light. Get the fucking magnificent brains because there's no doubt in that they are magnificent because they've created some awesome clients. Just bring them in. Put them on a contract for, like, half a year or a year or so. You know, pay them what they like, but get your yeah, clients. Yeah, yeah. See, care. that's the problem, man. It's it's just finances. That's, what, that's what's stopping them altogether it would be the best solution though it would be i think in the long term it's the best solution yeah but i for them it's like money that's literally why they, they're not doing it because it would cost yeah. a lot of money so i can see this solution working well as long as they kind of just you know uh enforce actively enforce it like you know actively talk to these people on the popular ones i mean because like all the and also kind of limit you know almost on on the clients themselves you know like how many third parties are out there because these rules are only good enough if you can enforce it right but like at the same time there's always all these other clients out there you know that that are being made and being distributed there's no way you can monitor them all right and like properly enforce them so i mean i'm sure there would be a way, like, say, for example, you know, this is theoretical, but if they did make it so the RuneScape, the old school RuneScape client was the only client which was being able to be used. Basically. That's what I'm, yeah, yeah, so, but that's what we said, and, and it turned out, you know, if they do it, it's just too much money, and that's why they're not doing it. That's why they're letting the third parties do it, right? But, like, yeah, the enforcement, I mean, I, this is much better enforcement, right? This will, this will, like, really clarify a lot of things other than the menu entry and shit. That's like, the only thing that's kind of... I yikes. don't know anything about coding. I'm not even going to pretend to. Yeah. But I'm sure there are people out there that would be able to identify the the source of the official old school Inkscape client slash game had been copied and was being used in a third-party client. Because let's not forget, a lot of botting clients, they have their own client. Like, bots typically will run from their own client, right? It'd basically be like their own version of uh, Roomlight, but it'd be called like Roombot, for example. Do you know what I mean? And it'd be its own client. You load it up. So there yeah, has to be a I, way I don't of really detecting know, like whether it's the original source or whether it's a copy of it. And if they were able to do that, like this just would not be a problem. Yeah, that's like I, I honestly do. I can't say whether or not you can or can't because like that's way beyond what I'm knowledgeable about. Yeah. So I'm not really going to speculate. But I'm just saying like it, it would be kind of nice if they just straight up just said like only these few third party clients are allowed period because that way they can inform they can constantly t you know uh collaborate with these guys and make sure they're all doing you know within the legal boundaries right and then all these other third party clients if you do end up using it that's just a flat out no you can't use it right that should be yeah it should be simple like that there are it definitely more ways around this than what we see because yeah. I, i'm thinking back to uh when i played world of warcraft briefly for like a year or so right a few years back so there was only ever the official client right unless you were playing like a private server version of the game but there were still clients but they weren't even clients they were just add-ons right and yeah, one yeah I think they had their own one called, system yeah one that i can think of was called curse and it basically gave you loads of timers like you know for raid bosses etc um and imagine if they made it so that people could no longer um, have their own client. Like, they straight up just banned the clients out. But instead, they were like, however, we are going to allow you guys, the people who have the clients, to have, like, some sort of system that you can... Yeah. That, that it, was something wrong. along the lines of Curse. It was basically you downloaded Curse, you ticked boxes on what you wanted to show on your actual client. Something along those lines. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. that would be, like, a, a short-term solution. To like fixing this entire issue but anyways we've gone way off topic um, yeah <laughs> all right so the following interfaces changes are prohibited any unhiding of interface components such as the special attack bar including the minimap for example in the barrows any movement or resizing of click zones for 3d components 
Not a clue what that means. Not a um. Like stuff, stuff like ice barrage and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about. Like enlarging oh. certain images. Yep. Okay. So that you can awesome. click easier, right? Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was that was crazy as well. People had like huge, like they they made that barrage icon like the entire five times bigger. Yeah, the entire yeah, inventory. <laughs> that that was that was ridiculous. Bigger than their uh, foreheads, you know. <laughs> <laughs> any movement or resizing of click zones for any interface or component under combat options, inventory, war yeah, equipment, yeah. prayers or spellbook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That that seems pretty crystal clear on those. Great. Uh, here's a larger list of specific features, examples which are unacceptable. This is still not ex. How the hell do you say that word? Not ex. ex exhaustive. Uh, yeah. Exhaustive. Yeah, okay. Like exhausting. Like you know. Ah, okay. I've never seen. As that in, much. this isn't like hey. the only like limited thing. There, there's more to it, but this is all. You know, this is, you know, a Dude, lot of it. W word of the day, right there. Exhaustive. Did <laughs> you see my comment on the last podcast, by the way, Ray? What? I said, uh, word of the day is <laughs> unnecessary evil. And I said something like, I love Re, he's uh he's so wise or something like that. Uh, mate, you're straight you watch too much anime, man. I know for a fact. <laughs> what? I mean, Unne okay, unnecessary sure. evil. You you took that right from an anime. I don't, mate. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's from it. anime, but you know, I've seen I've heard that <laughs> phrase, you know, more than once in my life, all right. <laughs> Un unnecessary <laughs> evil. That sounds like something out of anime, dude. I know that you got it there, mate. Uh, sure, funny. sure. I, maybe. You, you I mean, I'd be fucking anime, subtitles, man. dog. I don't know if Japanese got that, you know, got a phrase. You sound like such a wise like fucking sentence fire right now all right uh so this is not exhaustive but should give a clear idea of what is not acceptable any features which indicate where projectiles will land completely agree with it indicate the time where a boss mechanic may start or end uh adds additional visual or audio indicators of a boss or mechanic see a lot of these things it's like it's like a exist. summary yeah yeah, it's it's like a summary of the 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 things. And they also have categories list. too, like to yeah. know where where these rules are. So they, they, these, these are combat. I will read these out though, just so you guys yeah. can say that you've not heard this before. <laughs> uh, indicates what prayers to use in what order. For example, in the Cerberus boss fight, we spoke about that earlier. Indicates players in an opposing clan in PvP. Uh, helps you know when to flinch your opponent. Indicates how long an opponent is frozen for. That's hundred percent agree nuts. with that one. That was <laughs> I remember watching, dude. I remember watching Ditter Bitter use that client, and it would literally there would be a barrage <laughs> icon with a number ticking down to when he'd be unfrozen. <laughs> I remember watching those videos, and I was just like, man, I'm so fucking mad because, like, do you know how long it takes to like, if you PK enough and use barrage enough, it it takes a long time, but eventually you, you pick realize it up. It's you about have to five, time it. Yeah, it'd be about five or six attacks until they're on and then you just you feel I mean? it yeah so just being able to see it man is completely brain dead i 100 percent agree with that uh yeah. automatically informs you where or where not to stand at a boss fight uh, makes it easier to target 3d uh entities with a spell by removing some options indicates which players an npc is focused on see a lot of these i didn't even know this was a thing yeah no, I, didn't, it's... I didn't know that was an add-on dude i mean not for rune light but like more so for all those other, you know, yeah. smaller the, hidden those, like those options are, are a lot of them are about the like super OP clients, like not yeah, Lunar OP. Yeah, that started getting popular, you know, and yeah, mainstream. So, yeah. uh, indicates when dropped item slash loot will appear for everyone. Indicates multi combat zone boundaries. Indicates whom your opponent, uh, your opponent's opponent is in PvP. Indicates which prayer to use in any combat situation. Can unhide, hide, move, or resize interface components on the prayer and spellbook interface. Other additional information about other players with the purpose of scouting PvP targets. Great one there. I like that. I mean, there was a bot at one point, and I'm sure there were a few clans on Twitter. Uh, you might know about this verf, actually. I'm pretty sure I saw loads of Ultima Iron Men that were being like yes in the wilderness, right? And they were well, finding the world and where they were at. Well, actually, the, apparently, I've heard from quite a few people there was a client like uh, as soon as it, like for example an ultimate steps into the wilderness there's a client that send uh, like via discord i think it was they send a message via discord with the name the world and then the value of your risk yeah uh, i saw that i actually saw a video on that. it was crazy dude Damn. it's so scary like uh 
Uh, that's not even fair, dude. That's not even fair. Yeah. You can't even say like, "Yo, you just because you're in the wilderness, you deserve to die." But like, <laughs> nah, I mean, these guys, guys are tr- these guys are auto tracking people, like stepping yeah. foot in the wilderness and their values. Oh my god, that's dude, not. Like, even I don't fair. know too many details about yeah, that specific fair, one, but dude. it was it was a thing, yeah. yeah. I do remember seeing a video. I don't know if it was by Oak Dice. It might be Oak Dice. I will give him a shout out actually, because recently his videos have been quite informative, and he's actually gone over some subjects which i think definitely need like a light shone on uh, but mm-hmm. one of the videos i think it was him that made was a bot which basically hopped around the revenant cave and what it would do is it would send information to a discord and it would list all of the people there and what they were wearing so if someone yeah had, it might um, be yeah yeah so someone if someone was using the uh what's the bow called is it a Z- what's that bloody bow called? Not Cruel's bow, for example, or if there was yeah. a guy, like, it would always list the most profitable kill at the very top. So if someone was scold with dragon claws, it would say that. If someone was there with bandos, it'd be the first thing. It would say the world, everything. And these bots would just scour every world. All this information would be passed on to the clans. They'd log in on that world, kill the person, move on. And they were making a killing. And, yeah. you know, it's just not fair on any level at all. Um, okay. Any... Uh, other offers additional information about other players. I've read that one, which gives summary information about a group of players, such as how many players are attackable and not in your own CC, uh, what prayers they are most likely using, etc. Removes or deprioritizes attack, cast, or similar options from the mini menu in any scenario. Removes dead NPC entitles entities entities or the mini menu option. From them i'm proud of myself man i'm reading this like a champion um, hey. <laughs> removes or deprioritizes attack cast or similar options from the mini menu in any scenario removes dead npc entities or the mini menu option from them recorders moves or resizes prayers or spells reveals the maze layout in the source egg uh boss fight in the fur of blood <laughs> uh-huh. that and then they were all combat and these ones here are just the menu ones so adds additional menu entries uh which calls actions to be sent to the server modifies the menu options on worn slash equipped items modifies menu options for blackjacking such as pickpocket and knockout modifies menu options for construction such as prioritizing builds slash remove options Yo. i remember seeing a lot of videos on that people were getting like mills of xp per hour doing that construction weren't they yeah this is like the, these are the ones we were me and yeah uh, those were for us right those are the Oz yeah <laughs> uh modifies menu options for construction such as prioritizing build slash remove options modifies menu options for pickpocketing such as swapping pickpocket to talk recorders or remove players based options yeah. such as trade with offers world interaction in any detached camera mode allows you to prioritize in the walk here option by holding a certain key or similar any features with, which act similarly to those described in the above list can also be considered unacceptable and as we can be aware of features we reserve the right to add features to the list in the future they're putting their foot down man i like it it's yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i'm gonna read this last that, part though that ain't no question that's a statement and it's in bold as well <laughs> yeah <Good> stuff jaggets <laughs> Yeah, let me read this last one. We'll continue to work with players and developers alike in order to make it perfectly clear what is not acceptable. We do not wish to unfairly punish anybody, but we will take necessary action in order to protect our position. This includes banning accounts which uses these features, as well as taking action against those who develop and share such features. We'll soon be formalizing this stance in the official rules of RuneScape, and we're actively improving our capability to detect these features. That That's a statement right there. Do, do you think that that will mean in the report option, there will be like a report option of suspicion of banned third party add-on yeah, or something yeah, like that? Maybe, like yeah. it, say for example, somebody's, I don't know, getting every single <laughs> prayer right or stepping in the wrong, pl- step in the right place every second. Like they could be reported and then looked into. Do you think that'd be fair to say? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, I it's, so it's going to be in the official rules of RuneScape stuff. So. Even though we don't really like, talk like that have you referred to the official rules of runescape to <laughs> check I'll, I'll that have, you I'll are... have to order the brand new handbook they make to yeah <laughs> dude i need my new driver's manual except for runescape so player's manual <laughs> thank you for working with us we firmly believe that this is the betterment for the betterment of the game with your assistance we can solve the issue of detrimental third party features and focus on our efforts and improvement on our client uh what do you guys give this uh overall like 
uh, statement, like rating wise in terms of clarity, uh, enforcement, you know, stuff like that. What do you guys rate it out of 10? Uh, 10? Yeah. I would probably say a 7 for me. Yeah, same. The reason, seven. The, re the reason I say 7 is because I can appreciate they're doing something about this, and a lot of this I agree with. Uh, the only reason I got a 7, to be honest, are there are a few things on here, such as anything that indicates where to stand or not to stand. Like you guys have already said, that's basically being disproved. And I think there shouldn't be any way to get around what they state, right? And the fact that people are still using indicators, myself as well, admittedly, and people aren't being banned, and you guys are 99.9% <clears throat> sure that they've actually said that's okay. So, mm -hmm. Like, it needs to be clarified more. Like, yeah. to say anything is very broad and it, yeah. it does do what it says it's like anything which tells you where to stand you know from a third party client you're gonna get banned but apparently that's not the case yeah so it's not completely yeah accurate. yeah yeah so I, yeah go ahead i think i i would probably like the uh, information in this post i would probably give an eight but um uh just like when i was reading through this it was pretty clear but uh the part uh, where they work together with clients and possibly remove stuff like that is incomplete, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, based on this alone and eight, but it's not complete. Like there's because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of stuff is still in the game and it's really confusing. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah same. I, I give it a seven for the same reason, and you know that that track the three points simply because of those those yeah. two things that's highlighted in the screen right now. So. Either Jagex needs to edit the anything for you know for that yeah. specific one, uh, clarify it, and also Something. what is up with the menu <laughs> reentry though? Seriously, they have to like clarify what's up with that because you can't say that's against the rules and then just allow green light to have it, right? Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. All right, so those are three points. It could have been like a nine out of ten, like right off the bat. Right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But for some yeah. reason, they decided to falter on these two things, and it's like, I don't know what's up with that, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I am uh, expecting a new updated one on this soon because that's what they said they were gonna continue to update this stuff. So, so yeah, uh, at some point we're gonna get another one, and I really hope they can finally like hammer out these ambiguities, and then we're good. Yeah. Make it crystal clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. right and like to anybody that sat there listening thinking yeah but maybe this is just a rundown on what they propose to have as the rules but it quite clearly states to clear up any confusion here's a more de detailed rundown of our intentions and it actually uses the word prohibited which is like there is no way around prohibited it's yeah like, these are their can't rules do these things so they're basically implying i'm guessing this is active as of now the only thing in my mind, like, for the reason that Runelight possibly having cracked down on it is because they may still be in, like, a conversation with Jagex and maybe working to remove those features, which I hope mm -hmm. is the case. I hope that's the reason yeah. and yeah. the only reason that those features are still in the clients. Yeah, yeah. I hope they are talking about it behind the scenes and, like, uh, talking about the possibilities and stuff. Yeah. Well, I think that's it, though. We uh, covered it. It was uh, actually forty minutes, so uh, but hey, it's no, whatever. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. This is a <clears throat> that's fine. pretty big one, so yeah. yeah this this is definitely really important. important thing, a lot of sure. people are waiting for this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the next one uh, will be like a proper official account security. That'd yeah, be a juicy Ooh, one. Yeah. Uh, an official account mm -hmm. security. They've made a post about security that we went over, but not like an official post where it's like this is what is happening. They've posted, this is what we're working on. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's going to be big. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Right. Anyways, boys, thank you very much for watching. We did say 30 minutes, but it's 40. So, you know, trying to be nice on the, uh, the ratings down below. If you do enjoy the mini podcast, let us know, drop us a like, drop us a comment, get involved with the subjects at hand. And it's been a pleasure. And also Verf, thank you very much for coming on. I know it was short notice, mate. We appreciate Thanks for having me. person here. Yeah, man. All right. Take care, boys.